Now this illustration deals with the maximum number of disconnects. And notice this is a new rule in the 2020 NEC. This was not so uh, in the 2017 edition, as uh, we'll clarify and point out. But notice the maximum number of disconnects at a service by NEC 230.71 is 2 to 6. But notice we have uh, 230.71 and B1 is in boy through B4. There's the big change. Now notice to the left, we have a main ahead of those circuit breakers in that panel board. So everything uh, is grouped in a single enclosure, but we had to have a main. Now in the 2017 edition and previous editions of the NEC, Look at the service panel in the middle of the illustration. Notice it has to have a main by the 2020 edition of the NEC. But the 2017 NEC edition, we could add six individual mains uh, in that uh, panel board without a main ahead of them. Not so in the 2020 NEC. Now, we will be talking about uh, 230.71, B1 through B4 uh, in more uh, depth later. But notice the NEC loop says, hey, if you want to get a good uh, feeling for the two to six, uh, excuse me, the two to six disconnecting means, see figure 6-37, which is the next illustration. Now notice the last uh, uh, illustration uh, points out to the right that uh, shows a auxiliary gutter. It shows the, those uh, switches that are tapped there. And to really understand, not that you don't understand, but look at 230.71a. See, we're allowed those two uh, to six disconnects in separate enclosures, but not in one enclosure, as you see in the middle. You have to have a main ahead of those. And in 408.36, that permissive rule has been dropped also. So we know that they have to be individual, as you see to the right of the illustration. Not either one of those uh, two that's in the left-hand side were, uh, could uh, have individual mains. They'd have to have a main ahead of them. And then in the illustration to the right, 230.72a, they have to be grouped as shown. We couldn't have, for example, a meter base outside with three mains, a rat a nipple from the meter base or from inside and have three mains. They'd be ungrouped. You'd have to have a main ahead of them or two to six mains as shown uh, to the right. So there's quite a bit of change. And then notice when you have those two to six mains, as you see, we will also have to review and will review in this chapter six, 230.80 and 230.90 with uh, the exceptions and just exactly how would those mains uh, have to be designed. As we will see, the uh, full ampacity or amps of those mains would not have to match the impacity of the conductors at all when we start reviewing 230.80 and 230.90 exceptions one, two, or three. So uh, kind of keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this uh, chapter six presentation. And our next illustration now that we will review is 6-37 where we have two to six mains as shown and how they could be arranged uh, by the amount of power that is needed to supply the building. So figure 6-36 is illustrating there has to be a main uh, head of the individual panels as, uh, as you see in panel one and two, but the uh, installation to the right is permissible by 230.71 B1 through B4.